Hello everyone and welcome to the first video in our Getting Started with Power BI series. If you are familiar with my channel, you will know we already have a number of Power BI tutorials available. However, I realise these are only useful to those who already have a basic understanding of Power BI. Therefore, I wanted to create a series in the style of a course that would be great for someone who is only just getting started, but also valuable to someone who is already using the tool. We will progress to more complex topics in the future. However, in this first video, we will simply cover off how to download the Power BI application. So on my screen, we are now looking at just that, the Power BI application. And as you can see, I've just opened up a new report or new file. And you can see it's obviously called Untitled, but we've just got a blank canvas. So this is the uh, desired outcome we are hoping you'll have once you've obviously downloaded the app. In order to download, all we need to do is open up um, your browser. And for me, just go to Google, type in Download Power BI Desktop, and you can simply click the first option here for downloads. You don't even need to scroll, but if I would just scroll here so it's in the center of the screen, you can see Microsoft Power BI Desktop. Simply click on to download. And for me, you may get the same option here, or it might allow you to download straight from the, um, from the website. However, because I've got the Microsoft Store, I'm just gonna go click open Microsoft Store. Uh, and like I say, if you don't get this option, it should just take you through a few steps to download the application to your machine. However, as you can see, it's got a pop-up here. For me, in the Microsoft Store, because the application is already installed, it's asking me to open. However, for you, if you didn't have it installed, all you need to do is click on to download. And as previously mentioned, do a few uh, approval steps, and then the application will be installed onto your machine. You can then go into either the icon on your desktop or into your start menu, open up Power BI, and you will see a screen very similar to this. So keeping it, like I say, very basic in this video, but ultimately for you to do now is just make sure you've got the application downloaded so you're ready to continue with the future videos. Also, if you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.